Oh my god, holy moly. What the f was that? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. We are starting this video with a mellow yellow top, which I just bought from Mango, but I am not ashamed to say that I've worn this probably like 10 times already. It's well worth it. This was like the perfect yellow that I was looking for for two years and this just went on sale and I was like, oh, gotta have you. And it was right there in my size. So serendipity. But I start this video off to say it's a pale yellow. But I say it's a mellow yellow because this is the first time in so long that I have been mellow. Like, if you know me, you know my character, and you know that I'm from New York City, you know that I'm always like on the go, 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 what's next, I gotta do the next thing. I'm clocking into work, if I'm not clocking into work, who am I meeting up with, what am I filming, what am I recording? And my boyfriend was like, you really need to relax sometimes, and I'm not the best at that. It's just like the type of person that I am. So, to make a long story short, I was working out, I got slightly injured. I'm the type of person that's like, no, we can't stop. If I've gotten injured, that's okay. We just have to keep going or I'm gonna lose my progress. So I continued to go until I completely injured myself. So now, I really had no choice but to stop. So I feel that that was God just telling me like, yo, you actually need to chill. Here we are, we're slowing down a bit. It did give me a chance to actually just relax. The last video was the first time in so long that I was able to decompress where I was at the pool and for four hours didn't answer anybody except for my mom. I didn't feel obligated to it. I didn't feel obligated to do too much. I finally just sat down and read my book and like tried to empty my mind which is very necessary because you need those still moments where you can just listen to yourself, right? I am not going to yap your ears off. I just thought some food for thought. With these still slow moments, I really got into some self-care this week. And I finally got that long-awaited facial that I was telling you guys about. I ended up in not only Sephora, but went ahead and picked up a bunch of Korean skincare when I was in K-Town while I was very much chilling. So... Let's get right into it. You know why I always start my videos holding the mic, knowing damn well I'm a gesticulator. I love to use my hands. I love to, you know, when I talk, I'm Arab. This is Arabic. We use our hands. Yani, come on. I have a bag right here filled with some things. I want to show you what I got because I also have one unboxing that I want to show you guys. But I'll leave it till the end of the video. First thing that I have is the Cryo Rubber Dr. Jart Brightening Mask. This is, oh, he matches me. This is the Vitamin C Mask. Guys, do you know that glow that you get when you put Vitamin C on your face? Especially daily, it like uncovers. I mean, I have a glow right now, but it's not the type of glow that I'm talking about. This is more of like my oily skin. But this glow, this Vitamin C glow, top tier. Putting on the mask helps it get more into your pores, if you may. So, got really excited and picked this baby up. Next thing that I picked up here, I'm just picking out things from the bag, so I don't know what's gonna come out. I know they look so silly, but I get a lot of breakouts. I think because I am probably a sugar junkie. You can see it. It's actually pretty calm right now, but you know, during around that time of the month, I get a few breakouts and I get them on my neck, especially. And I just feel like a little pimple patch. We'll save the day. Plus, these are so cute, guys. Look at this. Adorable. This thing that I got is the Moistful Collagen Cleansing Foam. I needed a new uh, face wash, but I also feel with all these years living in the sun, being an outside kid who was biking and rollerblading a lot and never wearing sunscreen, well, the sun has did its thing with me. Oh. I am willing to try collagen and see. I know that a lot of people intake collagen. It helps like your cells regenerate. I'm not sure if putting collagen topically really helps versus intake, but after a couple of weeks, I will let you guys know how this goes. Maybe we'll just do a skincare routine. Sidebar, I did try to cut the caudalie. Why do I always get so stumped trying to say this? I did try the caudalie mask and my pores just felt so clean. It was so nice. It felt really great after. And I think I might just do another one this week. Oh yeah. I got me some Fenty mascara because 
these lashes guys this is just a volumizing mascara i don't love waterproof mascara because i don't want to fight with my face at nighttime trying to take it off i'm already as lazy as can be i haven't tried this out if you guys tried it let me know what you think um and i will let you guys know what i think about this one guys we were just talking about it sunscreen is muy importante so i went ahead and picked up another sunscreen we all know of super goop but i'm gonna just go ahead and put a little bit there look at that isn't that beautiful it feels like air really great sunscreen especially for us oily gals if you don't know about it now you do if you did know about it can't fix what's not broken oh next thing that i purchased is this inky list glycolic acid exfoliating scalp scrub guys let me tell you what happened it was raining that day and when i was walking i heard something fall and roll and i was like what the was that and i turn around and my sephora bag ripped and this was rolling in the street this is very very important to me i'm gonna let you in on the secret <laughs> it's not pretty your girl has a dry scalp <laughs> something that i've been dealing with for a long time it's gonna sound real hot i even use medicated shampoo sometimes i have a little bit of druff and i put a lot of oils and a lot of stuff to tame my hair. You know, hairspray to tame the hair or creams to tame the hair, but when that happens and you get product buildup and your scalp can't breathe, your regular soap just doesn't do it. This right here, it helps remove product buildup and it leaves hair looking healthy. I mean, what more can you ask for? Speaking of hair, I got the Chris Appleton Color Wow Money Mask for super glossy, expensive looking hair. I've used the um, Color Wow spray, which is great, but you can still see it's quite frizzy no matter what I try to do. I put in oil, I put in all that stuff. We're gonna try this mask and see if it works wonders like it says it does. Something that I truly, thoroughly, um, very much so appreciate is these slip hair ties. They're the best, and look at the colorways. 90% of the time, my hair is up. It's either in a ponytail, a braid, or a bun. You know, those regular old rubber hair ties, the more you use them, the more breakage you have. They're always worth it. They're a great, great brand, and if you don't have them yet, I would say check them out. Next item is the Mahalo Kona Deep Sea Water Hydra Serum. That was a mouthful. It's a vegan brand by Ainohia. I just thought I needed a little bit more moisture in my life. The amount of energy that this is taking. Oh my god, holy moly. Whew. Guys, I definitely broke a sweat trying to open this. But look how cute the packaging is. It's like this nice, beautiful. Honestly, that's what got me, guys. Sometimes I'm a sucker for good packaging. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. I'm like, oh, she's kind of cute. What should we do? But it's nice and heavy and it's water based. Has a little bit of oily skin. Shout out to my mom. She said she's going to stay youthful forever. I hope it works out for me too. She's a beautiful lady. But in the meantime, I want to be able to moisturize my face without looking super oily. So we're going to try this out. Have you guys tried this out? Do you think this is going to give me glass skin? let me know i really hate wearing foundation like i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate feeling foundation on my face i'm gonna be real with you i don't know where the british accent came from i'm not really great with makeup love wearing it love getting my face beat but the feeling of like a foundation maybe i just haven't found my right one does not typically make me excited now the foundation that i currently wear it is tinted moisturizer it is the cc um plus moisturizer i did not realize it was the glow foundation and that's why i'm glowing and i like glowing but an oily girl does not need to glow anymore <laughs> let's fast forward a year now i ended up going to sephora and i asked someone else i was like hey can you guys help color match me this is the color that i use blah 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 and i think i want something a bit more mattifying so we picked up three bottles of this laura mercier tinted moisturizer and it's guess what oil free really looking forward to trying these out i got them in the colors bis almond and then sand i have the hourglass mascara here this is in the color dune which is very fitting you know i have a sand 
foundation and I have a Dune concealer. I am currently using the NARS concealer, but you know, they did change their formula and I was going down the rabbit hole on TikTok and they said that the Hourglass concealer was where it's at. So I was like, let me find out. Let me see. Wait to try this out because I hate creasing under my eye. I'm so eager. Should I just try this out in front of you? Wow. Very creamy, guys. <gasps> Guys, do I look bright-eyed or do I look bright-eyed? I love it and it feels so nice and creamy. Maybe I shouldn't have put it over another concealer, but hey. I did also have a store credit for Hermes, so we dropped by and I picked up this scent. I do think that it is beautiful, it's citrusy, it's a body oil more so than anything and a hair oil. And if we're gonna be real, in between those hair wash days, you just spritz a little bit of this and you're ready to go. The final two things I have here are patches. I have, I have smile lines at this young age. So we got smile line patches. I was really looking for the ones that I saw on TikTok. You know, the ones with the needles that are gonna prick you and they're gonna just like boost the collagen. Ooh, I really wanted to try that out, but they don't have it. So I went ahead and picked this up because why not? We'll try it out. Um, this is the Medi Heal EGT Time Tox Gel Smile Line Patch. Wow, try saying that three times. The lifting patch, I think I have to do this more constantly than once a week. So I might need to run back and get a couple, but we'll see how it goes. And then the next thing in my hand here are the Panda Dream Eye Patch because, oh, guys, if you can't go to the spa, you bring the spa to you. So we're gonna just put on these baby eye patches. We're gonna put on that vitamin C Dr. Jar Cryo Rubber face mask and we're gonna just do some self-care okay guys i have one more thing to show you now it is not beauty related but she is beautiful can you guys guess what i got are you ready for it i got a bag it is the freya bag and let me show you i feel like it's kind of taken over the internet this is the mini christy bag the color oat i wanted to try it on so bad i was thinking i was like do i need something like this in my closet absolutely freya is a new york city based brand by a lovely lady named jenny we spoke about this in the last video what's really important to me is sustainability these are made of vegan leather it's quite durable and it feels quite thick just to show you guys here you can see that it's not flimsy you know there's a beautiful shape and it will hold its structure really well it does have two magnetic closures here. If we're gonna speak about strength, these closures are strong. I'm gonna go ahead and make like a little video just to show you guys everything that you can fit in this because while it is cold, the mini, I do feel like she has enough space to fit a lot of like your everyday essentials. It has the little mini hook. Um, it also has these pockets, you know, your quick, easy grabs. It has this beautiful 90s elongated vibe. When I see this, I think of like the Alaya bag that's recently come out and I see all these brands that are bringing the nostalgia of 90s fashion. And you know, this piece really has that. I really do like the fact that she has more of a squared out feel, but still has soft rounded edges. Speaking of soft, you do have the rolled strap. I was really confused at which color to get. I wanted all the colors. So basically I had ran into flying solo and I was like, oh my God, I want to see this in person because I kept seeing it online. Well, I was targeted by Instagram and damn Instagram, you really did your job. Let me tell you guys, the pistachio color, absolutely stunning. The brown cappuccino color, beautiful as well. But I had to be realistic and I was like, okay, I just thought I needed something like this in my closet and I was not wrong. So I'm very happy to have purchased this. I'm so excited to wear it and to show it off and to let you guys know how it feels to walk around with it. Now, it seems to me that the theme for today is slow because when I was looking at the Freya website and I have it in front of me here, it says, in a world that values growth and finding the next bigger, better, faster thing, I wanted to build something high quality, slow, meaningful, and personal. But hopefully this kind of is just a gentle reminder to slow down and to relax a little bit. But without further ado, let's get right into it. When it is a rainy day in New York, you go to the museum. That's 
beautiful in the Xiao. I think the, the Xiao and the Song Hu. Yeah. That's your game part. To try or not to try this? I am at Skin Spa, as you guys have already seen. We we're gonna just get a touch up. I'm so happy we're finally doing this self care day. With this? Okay. Wow. That feels so good because <laughs> it's hot outside. Oh. Yep, under the arm. Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. Okay. I'm all done. It went by so fast. I love it. This is like that high maintenance to be low maintenance thing. The girl that I met was so, so sweet, so, so helpful. So off to the facial. Ready to do this. Guys, I got the facial. I was so excited. And then I completely got rained on. Luckily, there was a yellow cab right there. So here we are. We're in the taxi. And it's so bad outside. I can't believe in a matter of like 30 minutes. I saw it was gray, but it started pouring so hard. My bags fell apart. My stuff fell in the street. And now I'm finally on my way home. We gotta look at the bright side. The skin, the skin looks pretty decent to me. But it's actually a whole process that Skin Laundry wants. They want you to commit to like a four month process so that you can be accountable with your skin. You pay like this membership fee and they would set up like a program for you. So this first laser facial, it does something but not, it's like if you go to the gym once a month versus you being consistent. So I do think it's something that if you had wanted to put your money towards, it could be a really good idea because it does get to your skin on a cellular level. Guys, I have just heard the thunder, which means it's about to rain and I had just dodged the rain. Look at the pistachio color. I think that's just such a beautiful color for summertime. And they do have the larger version. I do think that is quite large for myself. But let me tell you, one so-called mini fits a lot. See, I feel like it's the perfect size. It almost reminds me of like the Aliyah bag. It's really, really cool. 